as human as we are, we don't live in an island. And by all means, we always have to get people around us. But by people around us, we have to get good friends. Friends who impact our lives positively. Friends who influence our lives and our behaviors positively. Positively and friends who will be there to support us emotionally when we need them. That is why in this video, we want to talk about people that you should not call them your friends because they are not with us. In the Bible, there is this particular friend that I really, really, really pray that God gives me a friend like that. And that is Jonathan. The friendship between Jonathan and David was amazing. To the extent that when Saul, who is Jonathan's father, wanted to kill David, Jonathan warned David, my father wants to kill you. Don't do this. Don't do that. Don't go here. Don't go here. At a point, David asked Jonathan, what have I done to your father? That this man is so bound on killing me. Jonathan said, wait. My father is going to organize a dinner. David said, I will not come for the dinner. But at the dinner, bring up my name. Try to mention my name. Let's see if your father is happy when you mention my name. That means that he doesn't want to kill me. But if your father is not happy and your father is angry when you mention my name, that means that your father wants to kill me. Jonathan made an oath to David and told David that even if I die, please let this oath, let this friendship extend to that of my children. And fast forward, somewhere a later part in the Bible, even when Jonathan was there, David said, is there anyone left in the house of Jonathan that I have to do good to? My dear, in the New Testament, there were these four friends. Their friend was crippled. Their friend was sick. They wanted to take the friend to Jesus for Jesus to heal him. There was no way these men carried their friend, traveled miles, when even they got there and they realized that they cannot see Jesus, they, they, they had to climb the roof, <laughs> create a hole in the roof, and lower their friend into the room so Jesus could heal him. That is the kind of friend you need in life. Not a friend who will always be taken from you. My dear, see, we are giving our energy to people who give their energy to us. Those times that we were always the one investing in friendship and other things, it's past. We, 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 you, you do me, I do you. Like <laughs> You don't want to be wasting your time with people you cannot rely on as friends. So what are some of the people that you shouldn't rely on as friends, my dear? Someone who is always taking from you. My dear, won't you go here with me? Won't you give me this? Won't you do that to me? Won't you do this or that? He or she is always taking from you. My uncle is there, go and accompany me at a funeral. But when you you needed that friend most to go with you to somewhere. In my head, it's even paining me. I'm even free. I don't even feel fine. I think I'm sick. I don't have money. I'm not sure I can do this. That friend is always taking from you and not giving anything in return to that friendship. And you think that this is someone that you can count on as a friend. No, you don't want that. Friend that is always discouraging you, constant negativity. When you tell him that this is what I want to do, oh, you can't do this. When you tell her that this is what, oh, you can't do this. Always giving you negative vibe. And that is not something that you want for yourself. You want positivity around you. You want positive vibe. You don't want that negative vibe around you. And so if that friend is always discouraging you, but not encouraging you to do more, to be the best version of yourself, my dear, I wouldn't encourage you to be in that relationship. And then a friend who is always betraying your boundaries, resulting in mistrust. You, your friend knows that this is what you want. This is not you. This is what you don't want. Your friend knows that this is something that my friend told me confided in me. Then they will always betray your barriers. Things that they know, this one is a no-no for you. This one is something that you will not take. Then they will continue to do it. They will be coming back to apologize. I've done a video about forgiveness and I told you that forgiveness doesn't necessarily mean I have to reconcile with you. If you have a friend like that in your life, my dear, you don't want that. A friend who lacks empathy. or They don't have compassion. They don't put your, they, themselves in your shoes. Not even in your shoes, but generally, they are not kind. They are toxic. Let me put it that way. You don't want a friend like that. A friend who is self-centered. Everything is about them. If it is about, if they bought this pen, it's beautiful. If you were the one who bought the pen, it is not beautiful. They were the one that got the good relationship, it is nice. Because it's you know. 
self-centered, selfish, always thinking about themselves, my dear. You don't need that. Surround yourself with friends who respect and honor your boundaries, who have your best interest at heart, and who's, who, who are willing to sacrifice for you. I told you, we are giving the same energy you are giving us this year. That same way as you want a friend who will do this for you, you also have to be that good friend because you cannot expect someone to sacrifice for you and you, you don't. You cannot expect someone to be empathetic and you are not. So if you also see yourself not to be a good friend, my dear, this is a wake-up call for you. It's beautiful, it's amazing to have a friend who is faithful to you, who loves you for you and will stick his or her neck out for you. If you really enjoyed this video, I recommend that you watch the video I did about some situations in life that you have to keep quiet. You can't afford to miss that video. Thank you so much for watching this video to the end. Please ask any question you have for me in the comment section. And also tell me if you, have, you want me to talk about anything, any topic in the comment section, and I'll be glad to do that. Thank you once again, and I'll definitely see you in the next video. But if you haven't subscribed, I don't know what you are waiting for. Please subscribe to my channel. See you.